when you pass on ramps, make sure check them to make sure there's no one coming down right next to you, they're kind of sneaking up on you because they're coming over your shoulder. Watch this motorcycle, he's probably getting off, but make sure he doesn't try to swing out here. Yeah, he is. Sometimes motorcyclists don't even look. They drive their bikes like they drive their cars, which is not good. And, uh, they end up hitting each other. You know, he could have decided, I'm gonna bike. I think a lot of motorcyclists don't check their mirrors. They, they kind of end up being like, I'm gonna bike, I can do whatever, I'm going faster than everybody else. And they don't realize there's another bike right next to them, coming up on them. Let's do this diamond lane again, if we can. Just got this. I didn't realize it was going to stop right there. Perfect. But remember, that's just a piece of. This is a stripe of paint on the ground. That's not a wall. That's not a fence. Even though they're not supposed to cross that double double, even if they have people, enough people, even if it's a carpool, you're not supposed to cross over that double double. This is the way I didn't do it before. But people do it all the time anyway. So just because that's the rules doesn't mean you're perfectly safe, you know, hug that corner, hug that edge. And, uh, you know, coming around here, these are all blind. Everyone, it's a blind corner, see? Unless you're right on top of them, they don't know you're even here because it's a corner, the way the, the road's bending. They might decide, oh, here's a space behind this guy, and they start to pop out and right in front of me. Very, very possible. Very, very possible. Now here, you know, they can kind of see farther down the turn, so they can see me better. Um, when you come up on brake lights, start aiming for between cars. Always. Just in case you come in too hot, you might buy yourself an extra foot that you need instead of hitting something. I don't care where you drive a ride. I don't care if, you know, if it's in the United States and not in California. So technically you're not allowed to split. You're not splitting. You're trying to just stop instead of hitting the cars. You're not you're like splitting here and then continue going on. You're you're stopping. But if you do, if you come up too fast, you want to have a little space in between. Yeah, the space in between can save you. So start aiming immediately for it, even if you don't need it. Just start aiming for it, because you want to practice that maneuver. That's one of the best things about splitting. Interesting, looking for slots to fit into which is very important and what is the bad thing about not allowing it is that people don't practice that because you know they're not allowed they just never think about it they're always looking at license plates that's the worst thing you can target right in the middle of the, of the vehicle in front of you so you see I'm, I'm going here I'm splitting obviously I'm going faster than everybody else but I'm not trying to fly around here at, at uh, 50 just because you know this is a broom for it I don't know who's going to decide to try to change lanes from one side or the other. And um, when they do change lanes I at this speed, they're going so slow, they're not going to get out of your way. Like In other words, if you see people changing lanes and we're all moving pretty quick, the, the lane change is fast because we're all going, let's pretend, 60 miles an hour. So the lane change happens at 60 miles an hour. When, when these guys are stopped, or they're doing like three, <laughs> you know, Three miles an hour is very slow. That's like walking speed. So they, they just barely get halfway across the line and then they, they get blocked because the other lane stopped or they you know are still getting across but it's so slow. And you come flying along here at 40, there's a good chance you're not going to be able to stop in time. And when now you are boxed in. Now you really have nowhere to go because you're in this little canyon. Where, where, if that guy pulls out, where am I supposed to turn to avoid hitting him if I'm doing 40? you know, or 30, and they're doing, you know, 5. So, you need to give yourself an exit. And not, and, and definitely don't assume, just because I want to do this thing, everyone is going to get out of my way or stay out of my way. That's a terrible presumption. And the only thing that's going to happen fast is your day is going to suck. And you might get away with it one week, two weeks. You might get away with it for five years. 
but driving like that eventually the, the odds will catch up with you because there's so many bad drivers <laughs> you're, you're not going to be lucky forever unless you don't drive in a big city then maybe you know there's not that many people around actually the truck behind me just shifted lanes so they were probably thinking about it as I went by don't drive next to people that's a bad idea this is good we're, we're not near anyone's doors for a second here I'm going to have to buy it and go by this giant bus of course Let's see how that works out. Oh, now this side's moving along. That'll help out. There we go. See, it worked out. Now this diamond lane ends soon. So some of these people might be thinking, I don't have to wait, you know, honor those stripes anymore. See, there it is. Um, now I, it's free for all. Everyone can do anything they want. And we're at the same time, we're merging with another freeway, the five. The, or the five is dumping onto here. We're not merging with it. It's their their off ramp is getting onto this freeway. If you're going slow, uh, a, a slight wave like this is not a bad idea, just to keep people's attention on you when you're when when they're trying to merge. They're looking over here. They're looking for over there. They're not sure if you're using the whole lane. Maybe they want to try to share it with you. Well, you do something like this, and they kind of realize, oh yeah, he's there. Or she's there. <laughs> Could be she. You want it to look like, I'm here, and don't don't try to cut in front of me, or around me, don't get near me, don't, you know, move into my lane. You want to be, you want to occupy this, the lane. It looks like it might rain. I hope it doesn't. <laughs> 30 minutes from home. And the rain wasn't the plan. And keep your eye out for guys like this. Now, I wouldn't say he was doing bad. I mean, I came into the lane the same time he did. There's, there's nothing, you know, he, he's got to do his thing too. And he can't look 24, you know, 360 all the time. So it's your job to pay attention when someone's doing something stupid, obviously you're watching out. But even if they're doing something normal, it just happens to be kind of close to you. That's not the end of the world. There's no reason to get mad or you know, rev your engine or whatever. Although I think revving your engine is kind of dumb. I don't know why people do that. They think that anyone gives a fuck about your engine. You know, use your horn. That's what it's for. And get a loud horn, first of all. Mine came with this sad little wheezy thing that sounded like a goat that died three days ago. The ground's wet. That means it did rain here. Maybe it just stopped. Hopefully I missed it. That's hilarious. That wasn't an accident myself.